The first thing we do is import starter assets. So we go window, asset store, search online. Up comes the asset store. Wait for a moment for this to actually uh, fully load because even though it looks like it's loaded, it actually isn't quite loaded. There we go. And then starter assets third. And what you're looking for is this asset here. So click on there and mine says open in Unity but yours will say download um, so you need to download and then import it through that so just press that go download. When it eventually comes into your game it's under Windows Package Manager and the Package Manager comes up here go to My Assets and it will populate in here. Look for it in here we've got Starter Assets third person controller down here um, you're going to have to um, import it. If it hasn't fully downloaded, you might need to re-download it, but start with import, and this will take quite some time. It will say install or upgrade, press install or upgrade. You'll probably need to import this several times at this point. It will ask for a restart. Absolutely, you want to do this. Restart can take a while at this point, and at this point it is not imported. It looks like it might have, but as you close this down, you'll see that it is actually not imported it properly. The starter assets are not down here, and they're not here. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the package manager, and go back to starter assets, and import. It will say package is already installed, install and upgrade, and then this will come up. Okay, this is where we need to import now. So import, install and upgrade, yes. Mine, as you saw, did that several times. I kept having to press import. We know it's done it right when starter assets is down here. Let's go to scene. Okay, so we uh, insert a game object plane, 3D object plane, uh, scale it so that X is 5 and Z is 5 so we're making it nice and big. You can roll your mouse back to see that. Collect textures. I've got some textures here. Textures are just pictures. Um, so I'm going to grab that one there and drag it into the assets. So I'm going to drag this texture into this asset here, so just drag it into there. You can drag multiple all at once if you like. Uh, this, doing it into the assets is really important. If you put it into a folder straight away, it may not connect up with this asset. First thing I would do is drag this asset onto this plane, and now we've got it there. Now having done that, we're just going to create a new folder and call it textures and drag that texture into it so that texture is in that textures folder that the program is a bit weird it will now recognize anything in this folder is part of this if you don't quite do it like this it goes into weird spaces so be aware that this is important so now we need to go to our starter assets. You can either go here or you can go over here, right? And then we go starter assets, third person controller, prefabs, and we're gonna drag the player armature, player fellow camera, and the main camera over here. So player armature, main follow camera, and main camera. So start with this, drag it across and up to this point then the player follow camera and then the main camera at this point we want to turn off this main camera because we've got two main cameras and that will cause a problem so just go up here and press delete so we've got our main camera now working at the right spot we can actually put it up there if you like so it's up in the main spot now we've got the player armature and the player follow camera use this drop down arrow to access this player camera route and click on the player follow camera here and we're going to place this player camera route over here onto the follow part so I literally gr go over and grab it left click it drag it all the way across and 
hover over follow and let go so now it's there you could also click on there and find it in there but it's you've got a lot of things to look for so that's the way to do it so player camera route and now you can press play now we can run around holding our mouse right clicking our mouse and using W shift to run um, uh, WASD and spacebar to jump so this is how we get our character to be um, like this the rest can be found on Roland Hall computer channel on YouTube and on the OneNote.